Hello and welcome to The Running Channel. Like many of you watching, Captain Sir Tom Moore was a huge inspiration for us throughout the pandemic. He raised £40 million for charity by doing 100 laps of his garden by the time he turned 100 years old. And we wanted to get involved this weekend in the Captain Tom 100, a fundraising event celebrating the life of Captain Sir Tom Moore. Now you can get involved in any way you like, it just needs to involve the number 100, whether that be a 100 meter sprint, a mega 100 miler, or any of the tasks that we get involved in in this video. There's a link in the description below. And while you're there, do us a solid. Click subscribe and tap on that bell icon so you get notified when we upload new videos all about running, which we do every single week. If you've watched The Running Channel before, you'll have seen the team set me weird and quite frankly, at times, horrible challenges. But how the tables have turned. I've only gone and got myself an injury, which for once means no challenges for me. However, I will now become the challenge master, the task master, if you will. The rules are simple. I will set our presenters a number of challenges based around the number 100. Points will be given for the winner of each challenge, as well as any creative flair that our contestants use. Let the challenges begin. Right, let's get stuck into a task. 100 meter sprint in the most outrageous outfit you can find. Okay, nothing I could get arrested for, obviously. You have five minutes to complete this task. Your time starts now. Go, 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 go. <laughs> what does outrageous mean? What's, it, what's outrageous? I don't even know what outrageous means. What does outrageous mean, Sarah? You've just finished university. Didn't we hire you because we thought you were quite clever? My outfit of choice. Check it out. It's all about the colour. Check out those shades. These trousers are like one of my favourite things. Right, I need to get up in the loft. I know exactly where the stuff is, so that's a winner. Huh. Okay. Uh, so I've got like a 118 outfit that I did the beer stuff in. That's all my Christmas stuff. Um, ooh, or, yes, 118. 118 it is. A winner, oh, with a Pumba mask as well. Good loft space that, Anna. I'd convert that, definitely convert it. Well, if there's one thing I definitely have, it's a ridiculous outfit. Oh God, I hope I know where it is. Here we go. Oh, one panda outfit coming up. Oh. I saw this one coming. Any excuse to get that thing out. Okay, so I'm definitely not a sprinter, but... <laughs> Wearing the sunglasses to hide my shame. I've got to head outside like this. Got to sprint fast, got to dress like a sprinter. And wear a bobble hat, because that makes it more ridiculous, right? Okay, let's go. I'm ready. Ready to go. Get a little warm up. On a beautiful day like today, it would be pretty excessive to wear every single thing that I own to go for a run, right? So I'm currently a combination of 118, 80s, cycling shorts, um, cap tin. I don't know. Let's go for Christmas as well because outrageous could mean like the most different kinds of things. <sighs> I can't get it over my shoe. Oh no, oh no. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, that'll have to do. Uh, right, how long have I got? Oh God, I've only got like 45 seconds. <laughs> okay, let me talk you through the outfit. Obviously, first up, running channel bobble hat. What else? Nice and sunny. Sunny, sunglasses. I've got these on, but I think the combination is ridiculous. But then, most ridiculous of all is this sprint suit. I just want to check that the coast is clear. Oh God. <sighs> I look ridiculous. Oh God, there's people up there. Oh, come on, Anna, just get out the house. Get out the house. You signed up to it. Get out. Show yourself off. You're only dressed as a... What are you dressed as? Let's try that again. Scrap the shoes, scrap the shoes. My next door neighbour now thinks I'm completely insane as well. <laughs> 
Hi Monty the dog, that's Monty. Say hi Monty. <laughs> Alright, go. 100 meter sprint baby. Ooh, Manny, Mr. Motivator, hello. Is anyone gonna be outside my house? Is this gonna be embarrassing? Probably yes, right, I've got 10 seconds. <laughs> Go! Oh no! <laughs> Not ridiculous at all. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is humiliating. Three, two, one. Probably, so that was probably 100 meters. I don't think it was though, was it? It was about 10. And we're done, 100 meters in a smidge under 15 seconds. Still got it. <laughs> My entire neighborhood now thinks I'm completely insane. I swear to God, every single neighbor was just randomly out of the house then. I think you just gotta own it. I didn't own that, not at all. That was so embarrassing. Feeling good, baby. Scores on the doors. Final points then. I don't think Sarah ran 100 metres. Therefore, she is disqualified. Mm. Sorry, Sarah, but that was absolutely nowhere near 100 metres. It was potentially 12. Anna, I mean, she got out there. She did it. But she said, like, you know, like she said, she didn't own it. You've got to own it. If you dress up as a sailor with a mask on and you want to run 100 metres, own it. Run like the wind, like Chris Cross said. I think it was Chris Cross. Uh, Anna, she can have one point for that. Kate, I mean, she dresses up as a panda all the time. She does it on a night's in by herself when the kids are away at their friend's house. What shall I do? Ooh, keep warm, bottle of wine and a panda. Uh, for that reason, three points, because she did do it. Uh, Andy, I just thought he just looked quite himself and I can see him dressing up like that. Four for Andy. And then five points go to Manny because his outfit was just a little bit undignified and a little bit naughty. And we like that here on The Running Channel. So, congratulations Manny. You are this challenge's winner. I would like to dispute something because I think Manny cheated there. Unless he keeps his whole wardrobe in the park and he chose that outfit there and then, he must have had a sneaky peek at the task beforehand. So I would like to see Manny disqualified from task number one as well. As for the rest of them, they did all look pretty ridiculous. So yeah, fair enough. Well, that was mortifying. Time for the next challenge, I hope it's a bit better. Travel as far as you can in 100 steps. You have 10 minutes to complete this task. Your time starts now. Well, that sounds really easy and I've got 10 minutes. How long is it gonna to take to do 100 steps? Not 10 minutes, I'm gonna go and get changed first. <laughs> Anna, did you read the task? That was about 10 steps right there. Disqualified? Okay, thinking, thinking, thinking. I could walk to the car, get in the car and drive. But that really feels like quite cheating, especially as like not everybody's got a car. That feels really wrong. Standing up, that's no steps. Grabbing, grabbing you. Right, task down. Okay, so I need to count the steps and get outside. Right. One. Two. Travel as far as you can in a hundred steps. So I can go a hundred steps. I could also drive somewhere. Manny isn't messing about. Straight in. Like it. Right, this one definitely feels too easy. So I've got changed, which has taken up about three minutes. I've got seven minutes to do 100 steps. Ooh, I know. Another real vehicle that I have. Thanks to my children. Let me show you. Scooter. Uh, oh God. <laughs> Good job, it's a safety scooter. Okay, it's taken me 18 steps in total since reading the task to get to this point. Shoes on, all that jazz. GPS only picked up as soon as I left my front door, so that is now saying 30 meters, probably add on 10 meters inside the house, so I'm at 40 meters. Now, my plan is really simple. I'm only counting true steps. And Rick, I want you to be on this as well. No cars or bikes or scooters. I thought about all those things too and decided it was cheating. So I want to see clear disqualifications. Now, 
let's go for a run. I don't like that attitude, Andy. Don't point at me. I make the rules here. Run it. 33. 34. 35. 36. 91. 90. 100. That was pointless, wasn't it? Wow, you weren't lying when you said you weren't very good. Do you know how a scooter works, Kate? 170. 80. 90. I love the way Andy's put his own cones out on his road. That's so professional. I mean, that is really impressive. He's gone the extra mile here. 99. 99. Smashed it on my last step. Into my car. Let's go. This doesn't count as a step. Look, Rick, life is all about loopholes. I taught her that. And I pride myself in doing the task to the best of my ability. Yeah, I'm not very good at scooting. I managed to go one and a bit round the block, uh, which is about uh, 500 metres. Um, I don't even know if I could have gone further than that running. <laughs> Probably could have done it, was so bad. My watch also says 0 0.19, 0 0.19 of a kilometre, 190 metres plus the 10 metres in the house, a nice round 200 metres, that's me done. Oh. Oh. There's the distance, that was tough. As the crow flies, 2k away from my house. Well, when I say as the crow flies, as in the most direct route that you can get. If you want to count where I've driven, it's probably closer to three kilometres um, that we've done now. But I don't know whether that'll, whether that'll count. Oh, time has just gone off. Scores on the doors. Right, I am going to disqualify Anna because she just started walking anywhere and clearly didn't understand the rules. Shall we read the rules back? Yeah, read the rules. the rules are travel as far as you can in 100 steps. The furthest distance wins. You have 10 minutes to complete the task. Your time starts now. Mm -mm 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 didn't read it. Didn't read it. Sarah, a valiant effort there, I would say. Too much driving, though. All a little bit confusing on your distance. I'm going to give you one point. Two points go to Manny because he kind of did it, but I didn't feel like he put his soul into it on that one. He tried, but there was just not enough gumption, flair, and evidence of positive behaviour to, to deliver on the task. So two points I'm going to give him there. Uh, Kate, just because you had a scooter by your front door, which you tried to pretend that you don't use, but, you know, why is it by your front door? I mean, your kid's... They're too old for that scooter. You clearly use it all the time. So having had a good think about this, actually, you use that scooter pretty regularly. You're trying to pull it off that you don't use it at all. And also, of course, you suffered a burglary. So three points uh, for that one. Um, and I'm going to give five points to Andy just because uh, I don't know how he keeps that many cones in his garage, but just superb. And... I thought he completed it with style, vigour, humour, and um, a bit gobby. Actually, a bit gobby. Yeah, I'm knocking a point off. I'm knocking a point off, because he was, he was gobby. Oh, wow. Well, actually, given his reaction to my attitude, I'll take that for sure. Keep it simple, do the task, get it done. Nice. You have 100 seconds to come up with a running channel theme tune. Once your time is up, you must perform it for us. Your time starts now. Ah, God. Right, time has started. I need to get pen and paper and write some things down. Ah, I've already wasted 10 seconds. What's the best theme tune that I could just rip off? I was just singing it. Run with me. Woo, a personal favorite. This is gonna be the best. 
Ah, uh, a bit slow. Oh, I know. could do something ridiculous to this. Ah! Run. Run is a good word because it is... There's lots that rhymes with it, so... Um, and TRC, right, TRC. The place to be. Is that Chariots of Fire? No, no, no favoritism, no favoritism. Well, it's only right that if you're gonna sing a running channel theme tune, then you should look the part. So I've got my microphone, I've got my headphones. There's really only the singing left to do, <laughs> which I don't wanna do. Um, okay, be kind, uh, I'm not a singer. One, two. T R C, the place to be. Run with me, it's not bad for your knees. It was that good. I think that's a winner. Okay, here goes. I've adopted an alter ego, which basically means just putting a hat on. I had some inspiration right at the end of my 100 seconds, which isn't long at all. I've got a bunch of words that rhyme. I'm going to be inspired by the songs I sing to my kids, which broadly are completely made up on the spot and are about poo and wee, so I'm going to try and stay away from that. And also, I'm going to rip off the greatest theme song for TV that's ever been written, and I hope it's even slightly recognisable. Let's dive in. He's got loads of kids as well, so he should have loads of songs. One, two, three. You know what we're going to do? We're going to be the TRC. TRC is the place to be, so you better watch out. It's the running channel coming for you and all the people at home. TRC, all about the running, injury prevention with me, the resident physio. I just love this game. You know, just like Evra. I love this game. So don't forget to watch the TRC YouTube videos because that's what life's about. Boom! That's the theme tune, guys. I know. That's the number one. On the Paradise Peninsula, born and raised, on the running track is where I spent most of my days running around in circles and acting all cool. I could only turn left by the time I left school. At the Running Channel, we celebrate anyone who runs, all the people out there waiting for the starting gun, whether that's lining up in waves at the start of a race or out there on your own with the wind in your face. We give advice and do crazy stuff in our videos and when Rick's involved, well then anything goes. I hope that something that we do will help you to run faster, especially my awful, awful rapping on this version of Taskmaster. I'm pretty surprised by that. That was quite good. That was quite good. That was quite good. Okay, let's see if Kate can deliver. Running channel, the place to be, yeah. Bring your towel, cause it's getting pretty sweaty. The heat is rising. Rick is judging, don't be surprising. Give me the most points, I'm the winner. Put Andy in the bin, cause he's last night's dinner. Second, third, fourth for the rest. Give me the crown, cause I'm the best. But let's not argue, these are the facts. The running channel has the best track record. You know what I mean? We are fast. Anna is the queen of ultras. Andy tears down the track. Did I just rhyme track with track? Here are the facts. Subscribe, like, that's all I got to. But we'll see you next time for the next tune. Whoo, wow. I mean, sometimes you realize 
that your colleagues have talents that you just never knew about. I mean, Anna basically just patted her dog, but she attempted it, so we'll give her three. And Manny, I don't think you're gonna be a rapper, mate. Key thing about rapping, bringing the rhymes to the times. Do you know what I'm saying? Bring it down, make your lyrics flow, give them a beat, give them some backwater, give them some splash, give them some rhythm, give them some bass, get right up in your face. You know what I'm saying? No rhyming, mate. Two points. However, Kate, you have a skill that we did not know about. You can play that piano beautifully and you gave chariots of fire some kind of oomph that I've not seen before on this scale of televisual production. So Kate, you're getting a whopping four points. Andy, again, impressed, but you really need to tidy up your living room at the end of the day. You can't leave that many toys lying about. I know you like to play, mate, but that's too much. People can trip up over that, you know, especially if you've got sticks. Leads me on to Sarah. Sarah, wow, I now understand again why we hired you as our super producer. Five points, and you deserve every one of those points. A, because you've got a lovely microphone. I think that's really nice to see that you put that amount of effort in. But could you have written all of that? Because it was really slick in 100 seconds. I don't know, but I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt because it was so good. Hats off, because that was incredible. And now for the results. Coming last, but not least, with some absolutely smashing attempts, it's Anna. I can't help it if Rick's got an ongoing rivalry with me, that means that he feels that the only way that he can win at these things is to put me last. Looking forward to when you get fit again, Rick, so we can have a race. There's no denying that this contestant really did think outside the box, but it didn't quite pay off. It's Sarah. Just so close to the podium, so close to the podium. You know what, great effort all round and I'm very happy with fourth place. Well done to everyone else. However, those first two tasks, if, if it was me as taskmaster, I would have scored a bit differently. That's all, all I'm saying. A respectable position and taking home the bronze, it's Manny. I don't think it's fair, as I've already said. I've got to say, this contestant really impressed with their creative flair. It's Kate. Woohoo! <laughs> Silver medal! Silver medal for me! I'm happy with that. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for. The crowning of our winner. The star. The champion. Our very own. Andy Badley. Yes! Winner! Genuinely, this is any kind of talent show. I don't have very many talents. So I think a fair bit of luck has come into play here. Really happy with that. Terrified of the song thing. That's literally my worst nightmare, I wasn't lying. Karaoke is something that I avoid like the plague. I'll take that. Didn't win any Olympic medals, but winning Taskmaster, which is also my favorite TV show, one of the best days of my life. I don't know about you, but I'm shattered after watching all those challenges. You can find out everything that you need to get involved yourself in a link in the description below. There's also a link to our Virgin Money Giving page. We've decided to raise money for Children with Cancer UK, who we ran the 2019 New York Marathon for. Are you gonna do the Captain Tom 100? Let us know in the comments below. And also, tell us about some challenges that you might like to see us doing in the future. And we'll see you next time, here on The Running Channel.